a prophecy about God's good sufferings for us. My son, are you ready to grasp why it is such an honor to suffer anything in my name? How you must be selected by me to suffer loss in any area, whether in comfort, or health, or finances, or general well-being. Very few have entered into that continual, abiding presence that is available to all. If you haven't entered, you will not find the strength to endure. Sometimes I may drag you into some area of discomfort and loss because it is vital for your eternal destiny. However most of the time I am simply waiting for you to come to me and abide continually in me. Only when I have judged that you will stay in my presence do I present you with an opportunity to glorify my name through hardship and suffering. Relatively few make themselves eligible for heavenly reward via this narrow road of pain, hurt, and loss. This is why I say rejoice when you are persecuted. Rejoice when you suffer loss. Only those judged worthy are given this opportunity. If you don't abide in me, you will not be able to access my grace and my power to endure. This is why it often seems the lukewarm or the nominal believer is spared many of the trials that you may face. Do not judge these things outwardly as the world judges. No. Suffering is not usually sent due to some secret sin, but because you can now be entrusted with the opportunity to accumulate true riches and bring glory to my kingdom. Continue to cultivate your kingdom perspective when examining all things. Let not the voices of the carnal, the ignorant, or the unlearned cause you to stumble. These are not normal times. The end of all things is upon you. Be not fearful to embrace the radical teachings of the kingdom of God, for the kingdom of God is upon you. Solitary Man